My name is Susie Knoll. I'm the Executive Director of the Conservation Resource Alliance. The Conservation Resource Alliance is an organization based out of Traverse City in Northwest Michigan and we cover an area of 15 counties and we work to restore rivers and watersheds. We are providing habitat for fish and wildlife, reconnecting rivers from stem to stern, from the headwaters and the upper reaches of the rivers down to their final destination, the Great Lakes. We align and unite diverse groups of people, organizations, agencies, federal, state, local, tribal, with shared goals of protecting our water quality and hundreds of miles of streams reconnected and restored to the original flow. That's really one thing that CRA is known for, is our ability to unite partners over shared goals and cultivating really complex collaborative models. We are really great at establishing trust among all these partners through our effective communication and following through every single project, big and small, from the beginning to the end. How privileged, how blessed, how wonderful is it that we live in the great state of Michigan where we're surrounded by the Great Lakes, we're surrounded by water. In fact, one-fifth of the world's fresh water is right here. And what a great responsibility we have to protect that. Rivers are so important to our community. They are the primary source of life. And fish are an important part of the ecosystem. They're an important part of the food chain. They transport nutrients up and down rivers. They need to move to find food. They need to move to spawn. They need to move to escape extreme temperatures. So our work Reconnecting these rivers is really ensuring that they have full access anywhere that they need to be along that river. Their survivability depends on that. Of course we do it for the fish, but we also do it for the wildlife, from salamanders to birds to river otters that rely on rivers and those adjacent habitats as wildlife highways, as corridors, amidst a fragmented landscape. Rivers hold so much importance ecologically, but also in our landscapes and communities, rivers are anchors for culture and heritage. The land we're standing on is the home of the Anishinaabe people, who've been here for generations, long before European settlement. Their way of life is based on a deep connection with nature and a strong calling for caretaking and stewarding the land and the water. We have so much to learn from them. What better guides do we have than the indigenous communities? What gives me incredible hope is the fact that nature is extremely resilient. Powerful rivers will forge their ways to where they need to go and tenacious plants will find their way through cracks in concrete. What also gives me a lot of hope is knowing that there are a lot of people who care. The key will be to see the indigenous communities as models and learn to cherish and appreciate what we have here. Only if you care for something so much will we be inspired to protect it for the next seven generations and beyond.